in. Nice to see you too. How are you doing? Good, good. You just keep doing projects that I love and want to cover. So thank you for taking the time. Thank, thank you. First off, I want to say the film just looks amazing. But you are obviously just so good when it comes to comedy. I don't have to tell you that. But what was the difference maybe preparing for a comedy film like this one compared to the Goldbergs where you're, you know, on the show for a really long period of time? True. Um, I mean, it it did feel a little different. I feel like the Goldbergs was definitely great um, for me to like have practiced with some of the comedy greats over the last nine years um, to be able to then be in this position where I'm kind of carrying this comedic movie. It was a lot of pressure and I was very nervous. Um, but I would say the difference would be just a, a little bit more physical comedy than I get to do that often on the Goldbergs. Um, that was a lot of fun, like the elevator scenes. Um, and just, I don't know, there's, there's something about like a movie too, where you're allowed a little more time, I think, because on the, on the Goldbergs sitcom world, everything's cut together really fast. So we, we tend to get, um, we have a tendency to sort of in the, on the day while we're filming, sort of do quicker beats back and forth. Whereas in the movie, it was a lot of like, elongating beats and moments that I love in comedy so I really got to relish in in like the the awkward beats in the middle of everything yeah and I have to say first of all I love you and I love Janelle Parrish the second I saw that you two were in a film together it was like on my calendar but I spoke with Janelle and I had to ask you the same sort of question creating that dynamic between your characters what was that like for both of you it looks so fun in the trailer Thanks. No, I was so excited to get to work with Janelle. Uh, we'd actually never met before, but being able to work together to this capacity was just so cool. And she is awesome. I'm sure you know from just talking to her. Oh my she's gosh. Yeah. Racist, most down to earth people, um, but she's incredibly talented and, you know, holds her own. So it's so much easier when you get to work with people that you fully trust that they know exactly what they're doing and they're going to knock it out of the park. And they're equally as committed to wanting to make it either as funny as possible or emotional as possible. She was just so easy to work with. But I would say the hard part was because we get along so well, there were moments <laughs> where we're like kind of struggling, having to be mean to each other. My favorite was, you won't see this obviously on camera, but when we were taking photos for the cover art of the movie, um, there was one <laughs> section of photos that they wanted us to do as an option where we're standing across from each other like this far and like looking at each other angrily. We could not <laughs> stop laughing because it just felt so ridiculous. I was like, she's also this tiny little thing and you just want to pick her up and he's like, you're so cute and sweet. And so I just adore working with her. And I'm I'm so thankful that, you know, I get to work alongside somebody that we enjoy getting to work together. Um, and so, yeah, it was a blast. I'm so glad that we got to do that. I don't know who you need to talk to, but we need that photo and like any behind the scenes kind of from the photo shoot, like we need it. <laughs> I mean, honestly, there's, there's somewhere someone's got to leave them because I, it's got to be too funny. I'm sure there's moments where like both of us are starting to smirk or something. <laughs> <laughs> laughing. I have to say you two in a, we, me and Janelle were talking about like her dream genre. And I was like, you two in a musical, like TV show or movie together, like what needs to happen there? <laughs> you two are so talented. What was amazing about this movie that just made every, you know, every time that we would go to like the next day and meet somebody else that was on the project or whatever, um, it just felt more and more like, oh, this is meant to happen. And what made it almost oddly like felt like home, every single person in the cast and a lot of the crew too were musical. So Dermot plays music and Michael Nizu is an incredible piano player and Modaf is an artist themselves. And so like, it was just so cool to all share that as well. Um, it, I don't know, it was something about like people who vibe in music as well. It was just like, a I don't know how to describe it. It was this sort of like, yeah, we're, we're all here. We love acting and we get to do this project together. But that was just another layer of like, whoa, we really connect on multiple levels. It was awesome. And the role looked like it was such a fun one to sort of play with as an actress. What, what was that like? What attracted you to it? And were there aspects that you just really enjoyed bringing to life? I mean, for me, it's always, it comes down to the writing and Sarah Ensley, who wrote this, um, I just think did an amazing job of not only hitting some hilarious comedic moments, like some of these lines, I was cackling on my couch reading the script when they first sent it to me. Um, 
So that was the first thing that drew me, but she also does an amazing job of at least when we got there, we start putting it on its feet. Every character had a full roundabout moment. They weren't just this sort of like standalone, like, uh, you know, one-off type surface level personalities. It was like, she did a great job, I think, of making sure that everybody, I don't know, they, they had this sort of backstory, of course, obviously, but like, um, I don't know how to describe it. I just think she did a great job of like making sure every character was like a humanized like person. Um, and so, yeah, the writing really drew me to the role and getting the opportunity to try to continue myself in a, in a comedic way was the thing that made me want to do it more than anything. And so I heard you guys got to do improv and I love that because I always love finding out when you guys get to do that rather than just stick to the page. What do you enjoy about that? Because I imagine that's just like freeing for you to be like, oh, I can do whatever I want now <laughs> and work with everyone. So yeah, like I'm not going to lie, working on the Goldbergs for as long as I have and with all these people who are known to do improv, I am so scared of improv because I'm not even kidding. I've taken improv classes and I just clam up because when somebody's like, hey, be funny now, I'm like, I like I just can't think of anything. So I was a little scared, to be honest, when we were like given that opportunity to just like, oh, do whatever you want now. But thankfully, everyone I'm working with is fearless. And so they were able to sort of pave the way and make it easier to like be okay if I don't say everything that comes out of my mouth is not hilarious. I know that's just a part of like letting go and improv. Um, but there were a couple of things in this movie that we got to do where it was just so fun and freeing, like you said, to be able to have that. Um, and one of my improv lines I don't even know where the confidence came for me to say it because no one said, hey, improv here. I just did it. And it made it in the movie. So I'm like, oh, it was just a validating thing to be like, oh, my God, yes. Like I said something that worked. So um, it was really cool. And I hope that I can get a little more comfortable doing that in the future as well. That That's like the biggest victory, right? When you're watching them, you're like, I did that. <laughs> but, like <laughs> really validating. Yeah. Love it. And obviously you don't necessarily film a holiday film during the holiday season, but I have to imagine being in a setting where you're like, you know, getting in that spirit just puts you in the spirit a little bit earlier than anyone <laughs> else. What is that like? Do you enjoy that? You know, what, what is that like for you? Um, I definitely got the Christmas feels when, when we were there, the set design, they just did a great job. Um, I feel like this house that we were shooting in was just for one, one of the most magical homes I've ever stepped into in my life. If people could even know how amazing the detail was in this home, I'm a big appreciate, I very much appreciate interior design. So I was like in this house going, wow, these cabinets are just, but then, <laughs> but at the same time, like they just made it so magical with all the like Christmas decorations. And even though we were shooting in Chicago in May, you wouldn't really know it otherwise. Well, I mean, it was a little green outside, you know, but otherwise um, it was, it was definitely in the Christmas feels. And now, especially that it's all coming out at this time, I'm for sure in my holiday moment. And uh, it's really cool to get to celebrate this during the season. You know, there's just so much to be thankful for. Also like you're giving, you're giving the gift of the holidays to families that are going to watch it together. That's awesome. That's one of my favorite aspects of holiday movies but I have to imagine you know at least for me holidays mean holiday comedies like I have to I have my list my mom and me were going through the you know the channels yesterday like what do we got to tape Santa Claus is on every, you know what are the holiday films that get you in the Christmas spirit you know what's so funny is I did not grow up watching a lot of Christmas movies that was just like not my family I don't know why like I don't know what we do normally I guess we play a lot of board games but um I would say I'm, I like very unconventional, like it's not on the nose type Christmas movies. Um, and I know it's a little ironic that I'm saying this because I think maybe Janelle said this as well. Um, but The Family Stone with Dermot Mulroney yep. is one that makes me cry every time. Um, that one and then Love Actually is like the yeah, goat. both of those. Did you watch? You had to have watched them on set. <laughs> you had to oh, she, 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 both. Oh, she said love actually and the, the family said yeah <laughs> my, so I mean you're familiar with love actually then right yes, of course <laughs> my boyfriend and I I all year round does not need to be Christmas but somehow we end up always going 
Christmas is all around us from that song. Like we <laughs> constantly do that as a joke. So that movie, it transcends Christmas for me as well. But that's usually the one that gets me in the feels. Yeah. You and Janelle just got to have Christmas movie night now with those two phones. She said, <laughs> I love it. Built in best friend. Like we hit it off the minute we, we hung out or like met each other on set. And it was just, yeah, I just feel like she's my other half and she's not too far from me. So <laughs> that's, I love that. That's amazing. Yeah. And I obviously know probably how much fun this set was. I could just tell the chemistry right away. What do you, when you look back, do you have a favorite memory, a moment that you just crack up thinking about anything like that? I know there's probably a bunch. <laughs> there is. Um, I mean, it was only like three weeks, I want to say that we were there, but it feels like in a weird way, it flew by way too fast, but it also felt like we had so much time to be able to get to bond. Um, so it's hard to pick just one, but one thing that comes to mind that I think it wasn't funny in the moment, but the actual situation I think is funny. We shot this obviously during when COVID has still been running rampant. And so we were very, you know, coming from LA where it's very strict uh, protocols to Chicago, where it was still like, a, it's kind of on the cusp, the cast had a weekend where we were all like able to go out and we said, why don't we all go to downtown and go to like a karaoke bar together and really like celebrate this. So the whole cast goes out and we were like, all right, let's do this. We like pre-gamed at the hotel and they were like, cool. And then we went out to this karaoke bar and I'm not kidding you. After two minutes of being in this bar, we all looked at each other and we're like, do you have social anxiety? Yeah, I have social anxiety. Okay, cool. We got to go. So we like almost immediately left because I think none of us knew how to be in a public space like that, that was close together where no one was really wearing masks. It was like the first experience for a lot of us. So we're like, I was like getting stressed. I don't know <laughs> because I'm like, we had to go film on Monday and like, what if, so it was a, such a funny thing that like the amping up of, yeah, weekend, let's go out karaoke bar. Let's go home. I'm scared. Like that to me was just getting to hang out with them though is always a blast we don't need to go out and do anything just getting to bond together is always the best everyone had those moments <laughs> i knew exactly yeah oh my gosh <laughs> like, back in the regular life again it's like uh, is this okay to do yeah <laughs> and obviously you know we spoke about music previously but you have a single in this film which i absolutely love so Tell us about it. Tell us how it came about and and what do you hope the single maybe adds to the film or gives to audiences this holiday season? Um, well, the song I, I wrote after I shot the movie and I'd mentioned to our great director, Prana Mohan, that I was a singer songwriter, would love to just like take a stab at it, see if anything resonates, knowing that like, I don't even know what they have in mind for the music of the rest of the movie. It might not even happen. Um, but I technically wrote this song from the perspective of Emma to Josh, um, this sort of like longing for a reciprocated love, but not really knowing if like, it's just being a little scared to open up fully, but knowing at some point, like it's time. So I wrote it from that perspective, but it was really cool to see where they placed it in the movie because it kind of is able to play into like the relationship with Emma and her dad, oddly enough. Um, but yeah, I was just really excited to be able to combine these two things that I love doing most and that it worked out together. Um, and I hope that people can enjoy this song and, and it doesn't necessarily have to be around the holidays for me. Like I said, I'm not like obsessed with Christmas. Um, so any Christmas music that I listen to, it's usually kind of unconventional, more like holiday winter music. So I don't know if you've heard winter song by Sarah Bareilles and Ingrid Michaelson. That was like, that's been one of my favorite this time of year songs. So I used that as sort of a like tone that I wanted to match for whatever this song was going to be. Um, and yeah, that's kind of how it came about. And I just, I hope people like it. <laughs> I loved it. But obviously you you and Janelle got to share the trailer, which was so exciting. I was so excited to see that. What is it like, you know, getting to share that and then seeing the reaction? Then today, obviously, I'm speaking to you and the film is out and people are, I saw it on Twitter. I'm very excited about it. So what is it like for you when you kind of get to share that kind of work and see the reaction like that? 
It's been so cool because me, Janelle, and Emily Modaf have been in a group text. We call it the dream team. Uh, and so we, we've been group texting since we got off the film and we are constantly just updating each other. So to see the progression of like, oh my God, I'm so excited. When are they going to send us the trailer? And then like, when are we going to be able to post about it? And then what do you guys want to do for the release? And it was just all building it up. So for it to finally be out, it's still like, I'm still kind of on edge because I just want to know what people think about it. I, I want to like, you know, hear back and celebrate together, which thank the Lord Modaf is going to be coming into town in January. And we're all three going to get to be together for the first time since filming um, and celebrate properly in person. Um, but it's, it's wild, you know, like I, I just love that we're all, we clicked so much that we're just getting to celebrate this together. And it's not like a one-off project where, you're kind of like, okay, cool. It's out. And I'll just go like celebrate on my own or whatever. We're just all embracing the experience beginning to end. Um, it's been really special. Thank you so much, Haley, again, for taking the time to speak with me and huge congrats, really. It's always a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much. And great talking to you too. And I really appreciate it and happy holidays. Happy holidays.